Welcome Scorpio to your February 2020 reading. We've got some real interesting cards here that came out as I was preparing for the reading. I always shuffle all the packs. If something really flies out, I will um, listen to that. What's so unusual is that we have the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands. It's very unusual to get three cards in a row. We then have the Queen of Cups. We also drew uh, the Five of Earth, the Two of Air, the Seven of Air, and also the Six of Water. So ones are all about fire, they're about creativity, spark, energy, but you're working through something here. It's like there's some energy coming in from outside. Now guys, um, I'm really dying to kind of, these cards are speaking really, really loudly. So, um, but just before I go straight into this reading, let me just say welcome and thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, and those of you that are already following my readings and are a part of this channel, I mean, just guys, so, so much love to you. Thank you so much. Your likes, comments, shares are just amazing. Your support of me and your support of one another is just absolutely inspirational. And um, thank you so much for subscribing because it really helps um, in terms of maintaining the channel. It helps me to keep on putting free stuff into the world. Anyone new to the channel, new to my readings, welcome. This reading is for Sun in Scorpio, Moon in Scorpio, Scorpio rising. You may want to cross watch for friends, family, partners, potential partners. Um, I'm Jenny Florence. I put a lot of free resources into the world. If you check out the information box below, you'll find it all kind of listed there, um, including an opportunity to um, potentially have a free private reading. I draw a subscriber name out of the hat. It's heading for that time of the month, which um, for me is wonderful. I love being able to connect. I know it's only with one of you each month, but I love being able to connect with somebody on a one-to-one -one basis for a private reading. It's just a joy to do every month. Um, really, really lovely. So watch out for the announcements, guys. But let's dive in because these cards and runes, um, cards and runes, we haven't done the runes yet. These cards and these cards are really speaking to me. It's interesting because I'm finding myself speaking really quickly and that's not usually me. So let's just slow us down. There's an urgency here. And these cards are feeling, I will be drawing runes actually, and I'm going to draw runes that sit on these cards. Something's coming in from the outside. It's like something is being directed at you. It's almost as if um, you're feeling a little bit persecuted by something. So something's causing you anxiety, something or someone. Something isn't as it seems, okay? So the Five of Earth, it's a card that says, um, don't look for easy answers and look below the surface. Something that's presented to you is kind of a joker, a trickster, but it means that there is, there's more there's more going on. It's really interesting. It's such a strong image. If I show it to you, it's such a strong, powerful image that you could miss that there is a presence, a female, a, female, a, a young woman in the shadows behind him, behind this figure. His presence is so strong that you, you could almost not see her. I think I drew this card on quite a few occasions, connected him with the meaning, and yet somehow almost missed her. So this is the energy of this card. Again, you maybe you can't see the woods for the trees, but there's an energy around you, that certainly for the beginning, this is a February reading. There's an energy around you during February that means you move through something. There's an opportunity to move through something and indeed to come out the other side um, with a degree of compassion, kindness, with a greater viewpoint. But something is coming in. It almost feels a little bit persecutory or it, more than you. As I said, that the key here is to don't take things on face value. Look, look below the surface and be honest with yourself as well. There is an energy around this that says it may not be, um, I want to say things may not be exactly as they seem. 
that can that can be um, like twofold. It can mean that somebody's being a bit of a joker, a trickster, or not being completely honest. It can also mean that we're not being honest with ourselves. It can mean that we are maybe we we have a perception of something that isn't quite as it is. So it's interesting. We then have the two here. Two of air. This is about choice. It's about seeing the bigger picture. Things are not black and white. So there's more than one way of looking at this situation. That's what I'm going to say. And what, what is lovely here, we have the ten of, um, ten of Wands. You're able to gather the information up here. It's like you're able to actually um, to process something. You can, pull it, you can pull this together. Sitting underneath the seven of air, it's, it's not what we believe, it's how we, you know, it, it's not, what's the word, again, the words are, I'm missing the words, I know what I mean. It's, um, it's kind of, it's, it's how we respond to something that makes a difference. It's how we perceive something and what we choose to do and how we process things. Um, yeah, it's our responses ultimately that allow, that make the difference between something being a challenge or um, something that, that we can flow through. There's a really lovely outcome here. We have this wonderful connection between the Queen of Cups and the Six of Water. Kindness, compassion, the recognition that we're all actually interconnected. We're all one and the same. The Queen of Cups is a wonderful energy. There's an, an aspect of her, I think, that is about self-protection, self-care. But she's grounded. She knows how to look after herself. She speaks from the heart. She speaks the truth of the matter. So it's really interesting because her energy is coming in. And I would venture to say, and again, look at the seven of water. She's offering you something. I feel as though, though there's, there's a, a something going on in your world. Let's just actually draw some more cards and then we'll draw runes. Okay, so our first card from this pack is already showing itself. Interesting, nine of wands. So we now have a nine of wands and a nine of wands. Um, slightly different meanings um, depending on these packs. <laughs> and then we have a nine of pentacles sitting under the nine of wands. I want to say don't fall out over money. You know, it's, it's for some of you, it's like, okay, lovely, lovely new beginning, lovely new energy. Oh, wow. Awesome new energy, guys. Let me just check that we are all in camera. We are. Let me move these down. Whatever you guys are, are connected into, I think that's still there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just checking in. I want to make sure that you can see the cards. We will be diving into the runes as well. In fact, I'm just going to connect in with them as we're speaking. Yeah, okay. Lovely. Our first rune, we have the rune of strength. Terminations, new beginnings. Whatever it is that you're, you're dealing with, I think you're already in it. I mean, I'm doing this reading today. It's uh, whatever the day is. Um, I'm trying to remember what day it is. That shows how um, it's not that I'm disconnected. When I do readings, I kind of disconnect from the everydayness. But obviously, we're still in January. Today is Wednesday. And you're in this already. That's what I'm really hearing. Whatever's going on, whatever you're tackling, this is not new to you. This isn't something that happens in February. It's already taking place. But you're feeling a little bit worn down by it. But there's new energy coming in. I think you, ha you are seeing a solution, okay? I think you're beginning to see the way forwards. I think you're beginning to recognize that you, you've looked, you're already looking below the surface. You're already looking into something. Now, I don't know what that, that will be. It will be a different circumstance or a different situation for each of you. But there is this sort of investigation. There's an, something is coming to your awareness in a big way. And we have a connection to relationships and partnership here as well. The Nine of Wands is slightly different in different packs. In fact, actually, this is interesting. I'm being asked to center the runes in between the cards. Okay. 
strength, terminations, new beginnings. You are processing something, but this has been a little bit heavy going. Whatever you're processing, whatever you're working through, it's been a complicated procedure. That's what I want to almost say. Procedure seems a really strange word, but it, it's been complicated. It hasn't been easy. If anything, there's been quite a lot of testing going on within it. But you are emerging. You can see what I would, I think you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's just that you're still in it as we enter February. You, you are asked or invited to recognize that things are not black and white. It isn't, the choices that you are faced with are not as clear cut as that. There's more than one way to tackle this. There's more than one way, there's more than one way of seeing this. There's more than one perspective. And there is an opportunity for you because you are recognizing with clarity where it is that you want to go. There is more than one way to deal with this and you're able to, you start to evaluate here. For some of you, there is a connection to, to money, career, finances. Um, there's an issue. Some of you may even have been going through some kind of a legal battle or some kind of a system where you've had to fight for something. For some of you, it could be a divorce even or a separation. For some of you, it could almost like be a prenup or the negotiation of a new job or a new contract. But there's something that's being negotiated. What is wonderful is that something I think that did feel a bit daunting is moving in February into a space of, of the, you're able to process it. That's what I'm really hearing. There is a connection to relationship to partnership. For some of you, you could be forming a business partnership. For some of you, you could be coming together with someone, but it's almost as though there's a contractual arrangement around it in some way, shape or form. What I would say though is this partnership this connection, however you look at it, there's purpose to it. You've come together with purpose. So there's a navigation of something for you guys. The key here is integrity, honesty, um, being very aware of, of things, holding um, a spiritual perspective, holding the overview. I want to almost say trusting your intuition as well through this. Now, fascinating month astrologically so um, I, I won't talk too much about the astrology I've already done an astro energy update there's a video if, if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff um, and you're wanting to tune in in more depth to the incoming energy particularly the big mercury retrograde that we have in February and guys yes obviously back everything up take longer for your journeys but a really interesting quality of um, of kind of potential illumination and insight in this Mercury retrograde. So yeah, do check that one out. If you go to the main channel and just go through the most recently uploaded videos, which will all be the February readings predominantly, you'll come, you'll come to that particular um, upload. And of course, if you want notifications, um, if you subscribe and press the little bell icon as well, you'll get notifications whenever I post anything new. But you know, guys, there's a way through this fascinating partnership rune because the Ace of Cups is all about new beginnings, new love, um, new perspectives. Someone's offering you something. I don't know whether someone comes to you and whether for some of you, if there's been some discord, they offer an apology or they acknowledge your viewpoint. The key here is it's almost as though... Um, it's like owning your own choices and knowing that there's more than one way to approach this, connecting in from a spiritual perspective. It's kind of where I drifted into the astrology because with Mercury in retrograde, there's a lot of opportunity because predominantly for the most part of the retrograde, Mercury, the planet of wisdom, the planet of communication, um, you know, the winged messenger of the gods, will be in Pisces and then moving for the last week of the retrograde into Aquarius. There's massive opportunity for real um, connections spiritually um, to receive downloads of information. So I would say, you know, guys, if you are in any way having a wobble about what to do or you're feeling as though you're not sure which way to turn, 
um, yeah, seek, seek spiritual guidance, meditate. There is a way through this and it's definitely being shown to you. You get to gather everything up here and you move on. For some of you, this is a new beginning in a relationship. And maybe for some of you, I'm hearing again, very clear message actually coming through. Um, for some of you, there's a reticence around relationship. There's a fear. You've been hurt before. You're, you're afraid of being hurt again. You've had a relationship previously of dishonesty and it's caused you to be particularly anxious. You're fearful it's going to happen again. Um, this would indicate that you can um, start afresh and that things are actually going to be okay. Somebody offers you, as I said, someone is bringing something to you. Um, this is lovely. We have two runes. Now, again, we have another rune, disruption, and another rune, joy. Lovely. Disruption. Mercury retrograde, guys. The rune of disruption is actually, it suggests that there is something that the psyche is needing to break free of. There's something you're wanting to let go of or move beyond. It could be some way, some belief, um, something that you've, a rigid perspective that you've been holding that's been holding you back. Maybe you've, if you've been hurt, there's that fear, you know, I don't want to trust anyone, people can't be trusted. And of course, some people can't be trusted, but not everybody, you know, that's the kind of stuff. Uh, perceptions that actually ultimately hold us back and stop us from stepping into the unknown, taking a risk. Um, for some of you, it's, it, as I said, there could be some connection to negotiation, um, but things are not black and white. There's more than one way of looking at this. And if there are disruptions, I think they are there to bring something to light so that you see the situation clearly and then you can make informed choices as opposed to you're definitely being asked not to react. You're being asked to respond rather than react. That's the source of your empowerment. Ace of Cups, it's new beginnings, new love. So guys, you know, there's an element of, um, as I said, partnership relationship here taking place for some of you. It could be a new phase in a relationship. You enter a space where you make that decision to trust somebody. Somebody's around you. There's a lot of compassion, a lot of kindness surrounding you. It's really curious. We have this polarity. We have this um, sort of the potential for someone not being entirely honest and yet the potential for someone bringing you a gift, um, compassion, um, healthy boundaries. You know, very interesting. This card also speaks of healthy boundaries. It may be that you need to draw healthy boundaries. This is, as I said, this Queen of Cups can be a card of self-protection, self-care. But there's a real resolution coming through here with a new beginning. I want to say for some of you, it may be a seeing things clearly, drawing the line, healthy boundaries, and kind of walking away. For, uh, and that creates a new beginning. Um, you know, literally you're gathering yourself up and you're departing. Self-care. The rune of joy is a fruit-bearing rune. The end, a, a period of travail is coming to an end. A period of difficulty is coming to an end. This is out of darkness into the light. This is carried across the gap by the wings of heaven. This is finding um, the light, seeing the light, finding the way forwards. Guys, whatever has been going on around you in your own unique individual circumstances, this month of February, something shifts. You turn a corner, you come out the other end. I do believe someone gifts you with something actually that helps you to do that and you start afresh. There's a wonderful energy around that actually and breakthrough. We have the rune of breakthrough, our last rune. Wonderful. Um, this is a rune that says, obviously, breakthrough, the light bulb moment. Sometimes it's almost like a 180 degree turn. I think for some of you, there has been some big trust issues going on. It will be in different aspects of your lives. That shifts. You either start afresh and you move into the new, or you take that risk and you trust 
the person. You see them for who they really are. You recognize they weren't out to deceive you. There's such a duality. There's, there's, I, I feel like I'm being flooded with different messages. But the theme, the energy is the same. It just sort of depends on where you're sitting um, within that. You know, where you, which side of the fence are you sitting? Are you feeling that people have been dishonest with you? Are you, is there something current or is there something from the past that's getting in the way of you being able to trust? I'm actually just going to draw from the Art of Manifestation, Oracle Cards. This is awesome, guys. Worth the wait. Is something or someone not moving forwards as fast as you would like? This card is here to reassure you. Hold fast, be patient. The best things in life are worth waiting for. That is magical. I'm just going to place that here and we're going to draw another one as well. Absolutely awesome and wonderful. A card of opportunity. This is lovely. The card of opportunity. This card speaks of new opportunities, although they may not necessarily come in the form that you were expecting. Be alert. Again, look beyond the obvious. Be prepared for opportunities disguised as loss. If a new pathway opens for you, trust that it is leading you in the direction that you are meant to go. This is a big month, Scorpio, for you guys. Sun in Scorpio, moon in Scorpio, Scorpio rising. It's a big month. There's a massive shift in energy for you. Um, yeah, opportunities disguised as loss. For some of you, it's an about turn, and for some of you, it's a leap forwards. However you look at it, it is a leap forwards. It's a phase, it's a new beginning, new opportunities. You gain the potential for that, or you gain, you are offered the potential for a level of insight and awareness that literally carries you across that gap. Wonderful, wonderful Scorpios, or anyone who is cross watching. Guys, this is a really interesting reading. Um, one of the most um, intense, I mean, I mean, you guys, Scorpio energy is often intense. Um, it's, there's a magic and a depth to that intensity. Um, your energy is at play this month, but definitely worth the wait and opportunities coming your way. Things are going to shift and move forwards. Um, for anyone who's been following the progress of the Art of Manifestation Oracle cards, um, I thought they were going to be bir birthing into the world in January, so I was getting really excited. And then we had some delays, not with the cards themselves. I mean, they are stunning. It's, it was the quality of the book that comes with them, and so I've, I've, I've had to take a diversion um, and look at different sources. But the outcome's been amazing because we found... Um, people to create the book and the packaging, um, you know, the box that it comes in um, from, you know, sustainable materials, recycled materials. So really, really energetically, everything feels as though it's aligning. For all the people who've been emailing me and asking me about them, guys, I have set up a mailing list now. You can register your email. You will be the first to know as soon as they are ready. And we have a, a date, a definite date. If you're on that list, um, you'll also have the opportunity to reserve a pack and potentially pre-order um, at a discounted rate. Well, not potentially, you will be able to pre-order at a discounted rate. Um, they will be a limited first edition run um, at this stage, which is really very exciting. So guys, um, yeah, and for me, yeah, there we go. That was worth the wait. <laughs> it's quite funny, actually, those cards tuning in and the opportunity disguised as loss, you know, things going wrong and, and then realizing actually they take you down a different road that is the one you're meant to be on and one that is so much more in alignment. Um, so yeah, there's a resonance as I'm talking about the cards in these two that have shown themselves up although yeah it's different whatever circumstances are happening for you guys things are shifting and moving forwards you know so yeah there's a lot of possibility in this reading you definitely get carried carried across the gap by the wings of heaven gifts coming your way so so much love to you guys namaste have a wonderful wonderful february